take a new sheet okay my system is a little bit slow so just to wait a second okay so now next uh, just see my sheet is open right now so first of all I'm going to create a sketch so I'm going to create first of all two circle inside circle and outside circle inside circle mean for inserting shaft suppose motor shaft you have to insert for that purpose you are going to create inside circle so something dia I'm going to insert random dia 50 mm okay and again I'm going for a sketch and again I'm going to create a circle with some dia okay so I think uh, I should put some dia like that 300 mm I think it's okay this is the outer dia in fan blade limits it will show okay so just see step by step how I'm going to create so first of all extrude um, this sketch as a sheet as a surface so in this mode my setting is not showing so just go and change your mode go to role and change your role as a uh, as a essential okay just click ok so sometimes you will get like that problem so you have to change your mode again I'm, now I'm going for extrude just select your sketch and just change your direction in which direction you want to extrude and then go for setting apply some values first of all 50 mm I think uh, it is enough and then apply I just sheet then click ok you can see now sheet is created again I'm going to do the same procedure for another outer circle so go for sheet and then next to with same dia sorry same height values okay next I have to create a line so for that line I'm going to create first of all point so in point go and select some method angle on arc okay so click on that so you can see angle is 0 and x value is 25 because of dia was 50 so radius is 25 in x direction so it's okay and y and z 0 so point is created again I'm going to do same process on this top curve so same values you have to apply and only z values you have to apply 50 because of you know, uh, 50 from the coordinates values 50 mm height you are going to make a point so I think this value is okay click on okay I'm, I'm going to create 3d line with the reference of both points so click on both point click ok so one line is created now go and pattern this line because I need two lines so go and pattern select your all pattern definition like that circular pattern then select your axis ok and just define um, some type and you know, spacing type in a spacing type just define count and span in counter span we need only two copies and between angle I need 120 degree just click ok now you can see two lines is created now I'm going to join this both line just click on end point sorry uh, just a second click on lines end point so carefully you have to click on that then next click on this end point click ok so there is no support surface option that's why again I'm going to project this line on this surface so with the project curve option you can project it uh, so you have to define your uh, vector so just define vector means some direction you have to define okay in which direction you are going to project so simply I projected with some planes okay I'm going to hide this now you can see what arc is created now this arc I am going to project on outside surface so for that what you have to do select your arc and then select your surface as a direction just select one plane in which direction you want to project but you can see how that is projecting change your type as a along face normal now you can see completely outside arc is created now you have to join this from both top end point you have to connect and then here both end point bottom end point you have to click arc end point you have to connect with line okay so now it is created now I'm going to so go for surface now surface type is not here so just go and select this and I'm going to fill this area so just fill this closed loop all lines is created just fill this select all curves 
okay just click okay now you can see one surface is ready you can see how complicated shape is this so now i'm going to convert this as a solid so go for uh, thickness option i think th thickness option is in surface okay so click on that and apply some thickness according to your wish you can apply some thickness values i'm going to apply some values to sorry not to minus two minus two you have to apply because in same direction uh, that will take zero values okay so to and in this blade also i am going to apply some thickness same thickness i am going to apply just click on ok ok this corner edges i want to uh, like that to create a smooth I mean i want to apply fillet on this corner edges just see one, one second go for home and select as blend select just apply some values random values i am going to apply i think something this value is ok Okay, 60mm, 50mm. Okay, apply same values or some different values for this edge. You can see. Now click OK. Just hide this surface. Now you can see one solid is created. So now pattern this. So because we need three fan blade or whatever, how many copies you need, just you can pattern that. Now go for home and then go for pattern feature. Then select your feature first and then in circular type select your axis. Okay, just apply some spacing values and then span angle and then number of copies 3. Just apply preview. Okay, and just, and just I forgot to select that fillet feature. So again I am going to edit this and just select this fillet option. I mean blend option. Okay, as blend this feature and then click ok now you can see your fan blade is ready so for this correct model i am going to create some sketch and i will extrude that because something you can see some portion is that outside from that face so i am going to create one circle from the same outer dia and just extrude it just apply some values um, just apply some value. I think this value is okay. And I have to unite that. So go for unite, and I'm going to unite from that uh, middle shaft. Okay. So I can click on middle shaft. Just see one second. Yes. Then click OK. And apply some fillet values if you want. Just I'm going to apply some fillet values. Values too large. Just apply some less values. Then I think this is okay. Hide your sketch. Okay, in backside also I want to extend that set. So because that surface is splitted, that's why I'm going to create again closed loop sketches. So just go to a circle and create. Sorry, undo. Again, go for a sketch. Yes. Okay. Now create inside circle and outside circle. So this is your outside circle again go for circuit and this is your inside circuit and with some values you can extrude it just apply some extrude values and select this sketch first of all change your body from which body you are going to unite and this value is ok I think just hide your sketch ok I am going to select filter option and I am going to select all sketches in this project just hide it okay so i think this is okay so this is your fan blade you can see how complicated project was this so just for appearance purpose just apply some color so select your full body then click ok and whatever color you want to apply just select your color any color no yellow is not good okay this color is okay and then click okay so now you can see this body is created right now so how complicated shape was this but in surface easily just you created this body okay so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you understand the process how to make this fan blade thank you guys.